Live. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And this is actually some Alpha Protocol. Uh, it's a um, spy RPG or uh, well, rather a spy action RPG um, which uh, is developed was developed by Obsidian uh, who also um, made Fallout New Vegas actually and um, they also made the second KOTOR game uh, and uh, the game this game was published by Sega by the way so um, Sega has told well, has said that there's not gonna be second helpings of this game they're not gonna make a sequel because of the bad reviews and the bad reception from critics and gamers alike which I think is kind of sad because it's a highly underrated and underappreciated game so this is just gonna be a old-fashioned gameplay commentary actually so um, I'm just gonna talk about the gameplay and what I'm doing because most of you haven't most likely haven't played this game before or even seen gameplays from it so I'm just gonna cover what I'm doing here and um, as you just saw, saw I took out a guard there by using what's called a critical shot where I if I aim at a person for a for a period of time a crosshair will kind of start to close in and when it's completely closed in I'll be able to, to able to do a critical shot which does extra damage so right here I'm just uh, trying to flank around this left side to um, to uh, avoid being seen and right here you see me picking up this uh, bag right here and gaining some money uh, you use the money to buy upgrades to your you buy new weapons, buy upgrades to your weapons, buy new armor that kind of deal so right here I'm just checking that no one's looking when I, while I'm jumping down checking my surroundings for any pickups that I can do and I sneak along this wall back here trying not to be seen by the guy on the other side on that heavy MG apparently he can see as far the, as this so I move along right here I stop to uh, not be uh, to avoid being seen by the guy on that ledge over there and uh, after a while I see him turning and I decide to climb up this ladder to see if there's anything here all that's here is really just this duffel bag with more money in it. I could jump over there to the roof, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use the turret because that's going to give him my precision if I fire it. And it's too far away to use a critical shot. So what I end up doing is going over here and climb up this ladder right here. And as you can see, in the top right corner, I'm using a, a skill that's called awareness, which lets me know where guards are and which way they are looking. So, I'm trying to do a critical shot on this guy, it's too far away, and now you can see that the arrow is pointing downwards, which means he's looking my way. So, I am just going to sit here and wait for him to pass me by, so that I can take him out silently and stealthily. So right here, I perform a kill on him, I just, he pulls Mike, which is the name of the character I'm playing, pulls out his knife and stabs him in the neck and um, it's actually a um, it's it's a move I like so much that I use it all the time uh, as you can see when I sneak on this, on this guard there's two actually two options I can also do a melee on him and just do a you know knockout takedown but um I mean they're tourists so I guess the world's better off without them I guess saw that I actually forgot to pick up the money roll probably didn't see it on the playthrough so as you can see I'm crouch walking everywhere because if you run it makes a lot more sound and people may hear you and they may may actually hear you through walls and doors so I found that the best option is just to crouch walk everywhere just in case there's someone around the radio tower. Now look for the so right now I've found a radio tower that I was supposed to find I'm going to take it out by destroying a generator nearby and as you can see, I go up along the wall before opening the door in case someone's right behind it, and then I'll be able to take them down if they go through the door. So right here, I do a critical shot on this guard right here. I check the room if there is anyone else or anything else I can pick up. It's only this thing on this, this briefcase on that crate over there. 
I then check the stairs and I also check the upstairs floor, but there's no one here, so I just walk over and disable the generator. So that's it for this gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time and uh, stuck it. Oh! <laughs>